we are going to build an app called AI Panel of Experts that takes a question or prompt as input and sends it to every major LLM provider in parallel and compares their outputs and puts them on a leaderboard. For building this app's backend, we will be using BuildShip with keyless AI nodes. And for the front end, we use Bolt.new, but you can connect it to anything that can call an API. To get started, simply remix the AI Panel of Experts template. We have added a link to it below the video. Once you have cloned it on your BuildShip workspace, all you need to do is give it a spin. There's no need to add any API key because the built-in keyless nodes use BuildShip credits instead. So let's go directly to the test panel. Let's enter the prompt. What are the top five AI automation use cases for VCs? And we can click run. We could add custom instructions, things like answer in one sentence or less, answer in five bullet points. We can also add a session ID so that the panel remembers our conversation history. And here's the output from the AI panel. We have the individual responses, and then we also have the summarized responses and scores from our aggregator. We can now ship this as an API by clicking on connect, connecting our REST API call, which will generate a URL. And that generated an API URL that we can copy and call in our app. All we need to do is click ship. We have now shipped this as an API and you can use it to build your front end by going to the usage tab and copying the AI handoff prompt. Which we can paste directly into Bolt. You can refine your UI look and feel to get the app up and running the way that you want, just like we did. It looks like the interface had one problem. We'll let it fix itself. And usually that works on the first try. Now we can test our suggested next question. And we get our AI model responses here. You can refine your UI look and feel just like we did to get the user interface that you want. And that's how easy it is to create and deploy AI workflows with BuildShip and Keyless. Let's go back into the workflow and take a look at our Keyless nodes. This is our OpenAI Keyless node. If you click on the key icon, depending on your choice or preference, you can use BuildShip credits for fast prototyping, or you can bring your own key when you've decided on a model and are ready to optimize costs. You can add Keyless nodes to any BuildShip workflow. Just search for AI chat and look for the Keyless icon. In each node, there are other selectable inputs like the model, the max output tokens, temperature, and even the output format, if supported by the service. With the OpenAI node, for example, you can choose to output a JSON object instead of regular text. We also have a node where you can select any model, ideal to place in workflows where you may want to change the model frequently without having to remove and add a new node. You can select any service from the dropdown to use in your workflow. The most current models are here in the model selection which will dynamically pull the latest models to make sure you always have the best in class. So let's say we select the Grok node. It automatically pulls up the latest models and we already have Llama 4 Maverick ready to go. We are adding more and more support for keyless nodes, including multimodal inputs and outputs. So look out for that soon. Keyless nodes let you instantly switch and compare AI providers, significantly reducing the complexity of experimenting with multiple LLMs. Eliminate unnecessary management of multiple accounts and idle credits across different AI platforms, especially in this economy. You can read the complete information about keyless nodes on our website and in our documentation. Accelerate your experimentation and validation cycles with immediate results, then integrate your own API keys when you're ready to scale. Start exploring today with BuildShip. Rapidly iterate your AI workflows, deploy them as APIs, and effortlessly transition to scalable, production-ready deployments. Tweet what you build with keyless nodes and the most creative submissions will get 100,000 build chip credits. We're looking forward to seeing what you build.